Paint is everywhere. It is used by artists, DIY folks, home improvement professionals. We use it to change our environments, our cities, our homes, inside and out, color our lives. But one thing's for sure, at the end of the paint process, there's always some paint left. So what do you do with that paint? Paint, like many other common household hazardous products, need to be used, stored, and disposed properly. Oil-based paint has toxic ingredients that can gas off into the environment and be harmful to us. Latex paint, while not as toxic as oil-based paint, can get into the waterways, it can get into our soil, and people don't know how to get rid of it. So that tells us that there definitely needs to be more options for proper disposal. And that's why King County pursues EPR legislation and supports it. EPR stands for Extended Producer Responsibility. Currently, most of the responsibility for managing waste is on residents and local governments. EPR is a policy approach which places the responsibility on companies to manage their own products at the end of life. In 2019, Washington State passed an EPR policy for paint that is industry-led, will take back unused paint and dispose of it properly. Paint Care is a nonprofit organization operated on behalf of manufacturers to plan and operate programs in states that have passed a paint stewardship law. The Washington program began in April 2021. We have created over 250 drop-off sites throughout Washington State. It is important to have strong partnerships between businesses, nonprofits, municipalities, and other program entities to operate the network of drop off sites. In 2019, 15,000 gallons of oil based paint went to Cedar Hills Regional Landfill. When we measured again in 2022, almost no oil based paint was going to landfill. It was recovered by Paint Care. REPLUS is our plan to reduce what currently goes to the landfill. About 70% of what currently goes to the landfill could be avoided, reused, or recycled. Currently, most of our economy is fairly linear. We take natural resources, we make products and materials out of it, we use it, and then we discard it, we waste it. EPR policies are foundational to get to a more circular economy. We've had EPR policies for almost 20 years in the state of Washington. The first one was our electronics recycling program, eCycle. Since then, the mercury containing lights, unused medication, and now also paint. They've proven to be really successful in recovering materials, ensure that they're used for as long as possible, reducing our carbon emissions, and ultimately protecting our environment of our communities and people.